think of all of you were so involved in horses and riding because where you lived on uh, it was at that point country and so you used to go to the Green Spring where the Green Spring Club is now. Yeah. That was where they had the hunt come or something. I used to fox hunt with my father and mother. And uh, I guess that's probably the yeah, horses were the main interest. But you all rode together, didn't you? I yes. Mean, we have pictures. We have a picture for all of us. On. Yeah. You on a pony and your mother riding side saddle. Yeah, mother rode side saddle. Yeah. I was, all the women rode side saddle yeah. in those days. So you see, sides can't even, nobody knows what a side saddle looks like now. Yeah. And then, then worry about your father, certainly the fact that he saved your life when you had typhoid. Oh. That's a fond story. Okay. <clears throat> um. At, a, at the age of five, I developed typhoid fever. Uh, and a, uh, at that time, it was quite a problem. And he and his uh, doctor friend, Dr. Lawson Wilson, uh, decided that my father, who was in the National Guard, got inoculated for typhoid every year and should have a pretty good immunity for it. So they decided to have a transfusion. And in those days, transfusions, he sat on the chair beside the bed and they hooked us up. And that was a transfusion. Nobody worried about matching blood or anything else. And so you lived. <laughs> and immediately got better. It's a miracle. It was a miracle. Mm. About when did you start your elementary school? And what was the name of the elementary school? Um, <clears throat> Calvert School on Tuscany Road in Baltimore. And uh, let's see, I graduated in 33, subtract so six years from that, which would be the 27. Okay. What was going on in the country at that time? And did it impact your family? <laughs> Indeed it did. 1929, the Depression and everything, and I can remember <coughs> people coming out to help on the farm from Baltimore to bring in hay and things like that when we needed temporary help. And they were paid two dollars a day plus the car fare. Hmm. And what about your aunt that came to live with you? Because that was interesting. Who? Your aunt that came to live with you, the Reeds during the Depression that they came and lived with. Oh, yes, and uh, during the Depression my Aunt and uncle and two daughters who lived up the road, Hooks Lane, uh, they decided in order to economize, they decided to, families decided that they would move into that to our house, which had room, and they would rent their house. And then the question came up about cars, and my uncle said, well, my wife can't give up her car. So my mother ended up giving her her car. <laughs> so they economize on cars. So when you were in the elementary school and school's over, what did you do? Uh, I used to come home and play with my toys. And uh, we had a wonderful cook in the kitchen. And every Friday afternoon, I would help her make a cake or cookies or something. No, no, no. Nice. And what about the pond then? Were you in Northport and Southport? Where you had, that oh. was a tremendous thing that kept you busy. And the boy that lived at the end of the lane, That's who was right. a great buddy? I had, um, the farmer we had, I had a son just my age, and we used to play together. Um, and during the summer, we dammed up the stream, among other things. And
and uh, we used to have boats uh, two feet wide and five feet long. It were one man boats, but they paddled up and down this lake we had built. And then we built a house, about as big as a dog kennel. And, uh, but we weren't very big, so it didn't matter. And we went into, uh, in winter we did a lot of coasting and hitched up the pony, and the pony pulled us around. And we had a pony car, and we hitched that up during the summer and rode around the neighborhood and got into trouble. And uh, there was always something to do on the farm. But I think when your little brother came down, he wanted to join you because he was six years younger. That was funny. Oh, uh, my seven-year-old, seven, younger brother was about five then, and he wanted to play with the big boy. So he would come down in his uh, pretty clean suit. And uh, or pink or blue or yellow, whatever it happened to be that day. And uh, he had a little boat which leaked like a sieve, but he didn't find it. And uh, he would insist upon getting in his boat and paddling around in the thing. So of course the boat was pretty gradually down, and of course the water was muddy as off. Yeah. And uh, then he would get tired of that, and he'd go back up the house and all hell would break loose. <laughs> he'd have to be washed, chained, and everything. And after lunch, he'd come back down again, and he'd leave that. He enjoyed it, but I got in all kind of trouble. <laughs> and when did you enter Gilman? Oh. Uh, Oh, thirty-three. And when did you graduate? Oh, spring of thirty-nine. 